Hey there guys, welcome to Arsenal Fan TV. This is the review of Bournemouth versus Arsenal, the final score being 2-0 and honestly I'm just so relieved we've actually managed to get a win on the board after the dismal run of form that we've been on in the Barclays Premier League. To get three points you would hope would breed a bit of a winning mentality within the squad and it does breed confidence you would assume within this Arsenal team, especially with some massive games coming up against Leicester City next weekend and shortly following that Manchester United and in just a few weeks time we play Barcelona in the Champions League which I just... I just can't wait to see how we're performing that game. But it was always going to be a difficult game today. Bournemouth have played some fantastic football this season. They haven't really been turned over by anyone. And they've always put in confidence boosting and reassuring displays for their manager, Eddie Howe, who I think has done a lot of good things for this Bournemouth side. I really do hope the Cherries stay up this season. But I was more concerned about whether or not we'd beat them on the day. And thankfully, we've done that. We've kept a clean sheet, 12 clean sheets now for Petr Cech. He's ranking at the top of that chart now in terms of clean sheets in the Premier League this season, which is a great positive for us. Gabriel Koscielny keeping another clean sheet at the back. The fullbacks, Bella and the Monreal, thought they were class in this game. But the one thing I couldn't get my head around, Matthew Flamini starting for us once again. Francis Coughlin has had three full weeks of training under his belt now. And he get, got 70, 60, 70 minutes in the game against Burnley in the FA Cup, was eased into the game against Southampton. Why is he not prepared to start this game against, uh, against Bournemouth? It's really only for the manager to answer, and he wasn't really quizzed on it so much. So I'm a bit surprised as to why Flamini started this game. Possibly Wenger sees him as the more reassuring option at this moment in time. If Coughlin's not fully fit then, why is he even on the bench? I can't really get my head around that one. And Flamini, right from the get-go, was back to his old antics. Uh, a two-footed lunging challenge on one of Bournemouth's players. Can't quite remember the guy's name, but it was what I would say is pretty much a definite red card, to be fair. Yes, he did get the ball, but he was off the ground, two-footed foot, two footed on the player, and could have left the guy in some serious damage. And it was, quite frankly, a sending off for Matthew Flamley. We really did get ourselves out of jail with that one. So, uh, yeah, a re rather controversial moment right from the start in this game. And to be honest, it wasn't the most of exciting, exciting performances from Arsenal or Bournemouth in that opening 20 minutes. I thought it was a rather flaccid game. There was nothing too exciting, nothing too much to comment on. We had our first chance, really, when we scored, because apart from that, nothing else uh, was happening in the game. It was a fantastic ball in from Aaron Ramsey onto the head of Olivier Giroud, who nodded it down to Meza Ozil, who fired it past Arta Boric and it's a lead that we didn't necessarily deserve neither side creating too much but it's moments of class like that moments of magic which separate us from the likes of Bournemouth in terms of quality fantastic goal from Mosa Ozil delighted to see him get on the score sheet after he was somewhat criticised in the game against Southampton but he proved his, his worth in this game getting that goal fantastic finish like I say and shortly after Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain got his first goal away from home his first goal in about 18, 16, 18 months I can't quite remember but fantastic to see him get on the score sheet with a wonderful finish which I really would not have expected him to score. He did have a rather out of sorts game apart from the goal but hopefully this will breed a bit of confidence within him. Chamberlain's a superb asset to the squad and he's got so much potential that we just need to unearth. I'm hoping that this goal will give him the confidence that he so desperately needs. Fantastic finish past Arta Boric. Fantastic ball in from Aaron Ramsey as well. Great to see that from those two players combining and Ramsey did have a really good first half and they didn't really do enough to merit the man of the match award in my opinion but you could argue neither did any other player. One player that I do think stood out a little bit more in an Arsenal shirt was possibly Hector Bellerin especially the uh, tackle he made on Matt Ritchie who Gabriel let in poor defending there from Gabriel but Hector Bellerin getting back really quickly to poke the ball away from the danger and it was a great game from him all round I think if anyone deserves a man of the match award bar Ozil I think Bellerin was certainly that man but I don't think Ramsey did quite enough to justify a man of the match position but it's one that's open for controversy maybe people see it in a different way get your thoughts on the man of the match in the comments box below but going out into that second half there's not too much I can comment on because we were pretty uh, garbage to be fair I don't think we did anything too exciting we defended resiliently but up top didn't really create much. I thought Sanchez was really off the boil. Olivier Giroud was pretty, pretty ineffective for the whole of the game, apart from his assist for uh, Mazza Ozu. But apart from that, didn't really get involved as much as I wanted to, to uh, see him do. Really does seem to go out to the flanks a lot when he's not getting as much service as he wants to. And I think that's something that is leaving him a little bit um, a little bit vulnerable at times. I don't think he's in the position that like the likes of Alexis Sanchez, Mazza Ozu, want him to be in. And it is affecting his service at times. So I want to see Olivier Giroud put in a more convincing display in the game against uh, in the game against Leicester if he is to start that game. And possibly one option we could look to do is bring Fia Walker into the frame of things considering he's been benched for the past couple of games. I remember he was superb away from home when we beat Leicester 5-2. Was really good at getting in behind the likes of Wes Moore. So maybe start Walker up top in the game against Leicester, but that's one open for debate. Giroud's just been a little bit off the boil for me in recent weeks. But 2-0 away from home, can't argue with that at all. Really good defensive performance, I think. Another clean sheet for the Arsenal, which is something that we needed to build on. Our goal difference is pretty poor when compared to the likes of Tottenham, but we are above Manchester City, level on points with Tottenham. 
Spurs have got some very difficult games coming up, but let's not forget we've got Leicester next weekend, United the week after that, I believe. So the games come thick and fast for us and they're not really getting any easier, but we've got to be getting more wins on the board and hopefully we will restore ourselves back to a winning position. And one other thing I want to quickly comment on is our passing is still absolutely atrocious. We don't seem to be able to string two passes together. I don't think we're helped when Matthew Flamley is starting games for us, but Aaron Ramsey, again, his passing is pretty off the boil at times. I really do think we are missing that magician in midfield, Santi Gazzola. I also think we're really missing Jack Wilshere at times as well that player that can be the difference maker for us players that can win games on their own and just beat a man in midfield we really do seem to be lacking that at times it doesn't really help when we bring Chamberlain into the midfield as well because he can beat a man sometimes but he can't really string a pass together he's another player that can't really find another man so I mean it's a bit of a worrying situation that we can't really seem to control a midfield at times but Hopefully that will be a lesson that can be learned from the Arsenal team, especially in today's game. They can work on that in trading and we've got to be putting in a more convincing display against Leicester next weekend if we are to be getting a win and continue on this title surge. But anyway, guys, get your thoughts on today's game in the comments box below. Please do like this video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV if you are new to the channel and as always, I'll be speaking to you very, very soon.